Having represented his country since 2009, in March 2016, Thomas Walsh won his first major title at the World Indoor Championships in Portland, Oregon. We went over there and that was the one thing I wanted to do, you know, we went over there to purely win it and that was all, you know. To go to a place and to do exactly what we wanted to do, I couldn't ask for much more. So I really thought that that was a great start to the year and I thought, you know, from there on out, it was going to, the year was just going to keep building and, and it did. Just a couple of months later, Walsh turned his attention to Rio and the 2016 Olympic Games. The Rio experience was awesome. I went there firmly believing that I was a gold medal hope and things on the day just didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to. Uh, but saying that, you know, I've got a bronze medal at the Olympic Games, my first time to the Olympic Games, you know, it could have gone a lot worse than that. I could have come away with nothing. There was hardly any time to rest after the Olympics as Walsh quickly got back into training. At his base in Christchurch, he continued to work hard, putting in the hours six days a week to further perfect his throwing technique. I think the way you think about throwing far has changed. A lot of the old guys were get strong, which takes years to get strong and throw far, uh, and that's pretty much all they concentrate on. And a lot of my stuff is, yes, I'm still very strong, I'm, I'm stronger than a lot of guys around, but in terms of in the shot put world, I'm still reasonably weak, but I am fast, I move well, my timing's really good. A lot of people just think I throw shot put and I lift weights. But we do slack lining and we do gymnastics and we do jumping and sprinting and, and all kinds of uh, balance stuff. So there's a big variance in training, which is really cool. I really enjoy that. All that hard work would culminate for the New Zealander at the 2017 World Athletics Championships. There he topped a field of the world's best throwers to become the first male athlete from his country to win gold at the event. World Champs, you know, 2017, uh, it's, it's six months ago, but it feels amazing. Something that my whole support team had been working towards, and uh, for me to be able to achieve it was pretty cool. Oh, my off-season's been pretty flat out. I tried to finish off my new house that we moved into three or four days before Christmas, and then also in amongst that trying to jam in as much training as I, as I needed to be fit for the summer season. Chief among Walsh's targets for the outdoor calendar will be to top the podium at the next big international meet, the Commonwealth Games in April. With Australia's Gold Coast not too far from home, the world champion is looking forward to having plenty of support as he bids for gold. Winning gold at the Commonwealth Games is uh, it's going to be right up there. It's on the Gold Coast. Uh, there's almost more Kiwis in the Gold Coast than, than Aussies, so it's going to be a cracker. I feel like I've got some unfinished business there. You know, four years ago I got second to our Dane Richards, who will be there again as well. So I need to, to, need to knock him off his perch. But, uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Any time I get to wear the silver fern, it's a great time. And, you know, it's just, uh, I really want to, you know, take out the win now, I think.